Hello, my name is Taylor Erfling. Today is April 13th. It is 11 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to be inserting an NG tube today. First, I'm going to assess my patient. I'm going to see their history of um, any kind of nasal surgery, deviated septum, anything that is going to affect where I can place the NG tube. I'm also going to determine which nares I'm going to use and the size of the tubing that I'm going to be able to use. After I've done that, I'm going to gather my equipment and come into the patient's room. I'm going to help them into high Fowler's position. I'm going to identify myself and identify the client with two identifiers. I'm going to explain the procedure to them, what it is and why it's necessary, and how they can help me in any way, including the sips of water we're going to be taking after the insertion. Um, <coughs> after that, I'm going to provide privacy, and in this case, we're in a private room, the door's closed, and then I'm going to perform hand hygiene. I'm going to uh, don my gloves. And then I'm going to measure how far I'm going to insert. All right. I'm going to go from the nose to the ear, and then from the ear, down to the tip of the xiphoid process, and then I'm going to mark that with a piece of tape. Okay. After I've done that, I'm going to lubricate the tubing about four inches. Okay. I'm going to place a towel over the patient's chest just in case any kind of residue or anything comes out. All right, for the procedure, I'm going to have the client hyperextend their neck. I'm going to insert this along the floor of the nasal cavity with the tip pointing downwards. And I'm going to insert until I reach the oropharynx. Then I'm gonna have the client tilt their head back down. And then I'm going to offer sips of water and insert two to four inches until I reach the stomach, until I reach my marker. Okay, then I'm going to temporarily secure the tubing to the patient while I check for placement. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is insert either 10 to 30 milliliters of um, air into the tube. I'm going to listen with my stethoscope to their stomach. And what I'm looking for here is a whooshing sound whenever I insert this. I'm gonna insert. All right, I heard the whooshing sound. Next, what I'm going to do is aspirate some of the stomach contents. I'm gonna secure that tubing so nothing comes out. Then I'm gonna take a piece of pH paper and I'm going to test the pH of, of the contents. It should be, um, it shouldn't be higher than three for the pH level to make sure that it's proper placement. If you still can't determine it, you can always get an x-ray to um, make absolutely sure. After that, I am going to secure this I'm going to clean off the nose of the patient um, to make sure there's no oily residue. I'm going to place the tape on top of the nose. I have this two inch split down here. I'm going to take one of them and take it under and over. The idea of this is to make sure that the NG tube is not um, touching the client's nose in any way. We want it to just kind of be there and be secure without causing any kind of irritation. All right, after that's placed, I can also take a piece of tape and secure it uh, to the client's gown just to make sure that it kind of stays out of their way. 
I'm going to assess my patient, see how they tolerated the procedure, and I'm going to document all relevant data and make sure that my client is in a safe and comfortable position before I leave the room. And that is all. Thank you.